Hey buddy, Thomas here. It is a sweltering day out here. Just got back from a quick trip up to Tennessee. Last weekend I took the kids up there uh, to drop them off with the grandparents. Met, them, met my dad halfway and everything. They spent a week up there and had an absolute blast. Fishing, horseback riding, uh, going to uh, state parks, going to see wildlife, all sorts of stuff. Just, you know, general good old fashioned fun on the farm and fun in the outdoors as it should be. So today, like I said, I, I made a quick trip up there, picked them up after they had a week long adventure and now I need to get to working on this shop. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chainsaw. I've already made a little platform up there so you can see a little uh, platform right there. I did that out of some water oak and now I'm gonna climb up there with the chainsaw and we're gonna make that notch that I've, uh, I've been talking about. The reason I did that platform is because my ladder couldn't get high enough and it was going to be super sketchy. And it's, I know it's hard to see, but on the very tip top of that uh, post up there, I've got a nasty chainsaw mark. Well, I'm going to correct that. I'm actually going to angle the sides of this. Uh, so put a little taper on the top there, clean it up, and then we'll go ahead and do our cut down the middle. Um, this may be a bit sketchy, but uh, I'll be as safe as can be. <laughs> uh, and then afterwards... I'm going to hop in the pool with the kids. They're out there right now cooling off. And then I'll get to work on uh, more of the building here or cutting something on the sawmill. I also, actually, you know what? I, I, when I get back, I'll, I'll probably uh, uh, change the oil in the sawmill. Do a little video on that. It'll be a separate video from this one. And then uh, I'll conclude this video with something else. So stand by. You don't know what you're going to see. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Tools required. Tape measure and chainsaw. Should have tightened up the chain on this, but it will work. I'm not going to be cutting a whole lot. I've already got some tools up here in the way. All right, the platform's pretty st stable. This is where I'm talking about that I have that nasty chainsaw mark. We shall take care of that. I'm going to draw here on the back side. Roughly shape I'm looking for. Now I know my beam that I'm going to put in is a 2x8. And that's what I'm going to actually notch in here. I'm going to measure down 8 inches from the bottom. But actually not. I'm actually going to measure at 7 inches. I want it to be slightly higher. I know my stopping point and two inches wide. Give myself a little more room. Let's say two and a half or so. In the center of the post. Yeah, a pencil would have been really smart to bring up here. <laughs> Alright, is that centered? It's close. First, I'm just going to do my little notches on the side just to give it a little taper effect. And then we'll do the top part.
close. I gotta come down a little more on this side. bounds. I really don't have any good way to take it out, so I'm going to cut some more. chisel in here because I don't have much here I just got some paper thin parts chisel that out and then uh, get one of these posts up here but I've got to mark the back end to get the same pipe I want to put the back one up first I give me a little more room there and I can actually start working on the rafters here and then eventually get to that section good times Kids are having fun. They sound like wild animals over there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Like I said, I'll fix it up with a chisel. Hopefully that was a Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm overall pretty happy with that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. So stay tuned. We'll have some more on this video. Okay, so yes, it does look a bit rough. But uh, <laughs> that's about all I'm going to do with my chisel right now. It's, uh, it's seven inches deep. And then it is two and a half inches plus or minus. Well, actually, just plus uh, an eighth of an inch. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Um, but the reason I had to go larger than a two inch width, I gave myself two and a half because this is actually slightly uh, canted to one direction. And in order to make my alignment match up, 
I had to give myself a little wiggle room inside here. So one's gonna probably be tight on this side and the other will be tight on that side. Nothing major, but again, it's gonna be so high up here and I might dress this in so you won't even see this, uh, some of these chainsaw marks and stuff like that. But this is gonna be a nice secure connection. Try to get a bug flying around me. This will be a nice secure um, connection where I'm gonna put the two ridge beams together. Now all I gotta do, I'm gonna add a, a piece that goes across here and then I'll add my post that goes up and see if I can get this top beam put in place and then it'll be one small step closer to the completion of the roof. Thanks. Okay, I've actually got the, the, the beam up there. Now I'm working on my back post. My back post, I had a six by six pine at seven foot, weird dimension, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I've already cut the bottom everything and I've already made this cut right here. And again, I did this all with a chainsaw and now I'll go in there, pretty big pile of shavings there. That's pretty good with a chainsaw. <laughs> and now I'll go in there and I'll knock this out, uh, use a chisel. And then we'll get this piece up on top there. And if all my measurements matched up, we should still have, once this is put up, a level beam. So we'll see. Okay, so we've gone through, we've cut out the section here with the chainsaw. Now I'm just cleaning it up with this old chisel right here. Hopefully I'm not bouncing the camera around too much. I'm just cleaning out a little bit in here. I'm trying to make the uh, the mating surface as clean as possible. But uh, this pine is much easier than the hickory that I had to do up on top there. Let me tell you, that hickory, I spent some time. <laughs> That ain't too shabby. And I did leave just a little bit of high spot right here. But, nothing that good old chisel. Can't take care of. And I'm not worried about looking like pristine. No one's going to be able to see this one. It'll just be me. Who knows what it looks like on the inside. And I guess y'all if you're watching the video, but <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> I do appreciate all the comments. Uh, I got a lot of folks who know more about woodworking than I do and building structures and allowed me to rethink a few things. But, uh, this is coming along quite well. I'm happy with uh, you know getting the beam up that I have right now. I've got the beam up there, and uh, one as hard as I thought to get up there. It is heavy. Don't get me wrong, but um, once I get this up there, that'll help. Now I think I did make up or make a mistake or anything when I was measuring this. I cut this one to 57 inches long, when in actuality, I think I gotta be 55 inches long because I'm adding a two by six on top uh, to cross between my braces and everything. So, I'll show you like what this looks like. Again, it's, it's got some roughness to it, but it will work. It will most definitely work. But, like I said, uh, I've got a 2x6 up there, so what I might have to do is I actually might have to take another 2 inches off the bottom, but I'm going to put this up there, or am I? Because i got to cut it. I don't know. Let me, let me make a few more measurements. I'll get up there and take a look and see if this will work or not. Okay, so I'm pretty proud of myself. It looks uh, decent. <laughs> Uh, I'm very happy the beam went up there. Uh, my daughter has helped me on level. Measured everything and it actually looks really good. It's uh, slightly leaning towards the back, but I mean talking where it's just barely outside of perfect level, but not not really enough to matter. The uh, temporary flooring 
provides a nice little shaded area down here, which is very, very nice for right now. But as you can see, it looks pretty darn good. The notch has worked out really well. I've got it all level now. I've only got the one brace on there because I'm going to come back in with some 6x6 uh, post off the side of that. And then on the bottom here, that's my 2x6 that I added just to span between the two studs there. It's pretty stout. Um, it helps to distribute a little bit better because I wasn't watching when my sill matched up about uh, 5 inches off from the other one. My bad. But uh, overall, very happy. Monster 2x8 hickory beam is up onto the hickory. And then on the back here, the pine post. So next, we'll be getting the post up over there. I'm going to go ahead and use a water oak post, which I have cut. You can't even see it. It's somewhere over there between those logs. Uh, I've got it cut up. And again, I'll do some uh, architectural bracing to the sides of it and everything. And the reason I left this weird like gap right here in the middle, well, you won't be able to see on the that part anyway, so that's going to be into the wall. But I want to leave this section barren on top, just with the 6x6, and I'll have the other 6x6 going on top. And I'll do some uh, metal plate, actually, that's left over from my parents' home construction that'll go across there. It'll tie that all in real nice. So, yeah, um, next step is getting that up, and then I'll be getting on the mill to cut up some more pine, which my pine supply doesn't look like it, but I'm actually low on logs right now for pine. So I'll make, uh, make a, a prayer for some more pine trees. <laughs> we had some recent storms come through the area, and I usually start getting calls of people that want pine trees removed. So just a matter of, matter of time. Quite proud of myself though like i said and uh hope this has been uh enjoyable for those who are keeping up to this i uh i do enjoy doing this and after we went to church today this is all i've been working on is just you know roasting out here but uh man having this flooring up there is real nice because it has a shadow so let me talk about one last thing oak 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 those four center ones are all oak and everything again you saw my other video, that little cutout part right there was uh, notched from the hickory post here, but I'm actually going to hang a fan or light or something from that. I'm not sure. The back corner over here, again, that'll be a little bathroom, something like that. Maybe I have like a little kitchenette. So whenever we sell the property, this could actually be considered a uh, mother-in-law suite or something. I don't know. Not a whole lot of room up there, but I'm very happy with my choice of using oak there and everything else being pine. Whew, man, hot, hot, hot. But uh, yeah, please stay tuned. A lot more to come. Excited uh, to get this building finally uh, rolling. So we'll see you around. Thanks.